Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be solving the Goldback number problem. This question appeared in IEC Computer Science 2018 practical paper. So, a Goldback number is a positive even integer that can be expressed as the sum of two odd primes. All even integer numbers greater than four are Goldback numbers. For example, consider the number six. Now, six can be written as three plus three. Both are odd primes. Similarly, look at ten. Ten can be written as three plus seven also. It can be written as five plus five also. So, in case of ten, we have two pairs of odd primes, which sum up to. 6 has only one odd prime pair 3 and 3 which adds up to 6 so we need to write a program to accept an even integer n where n should be greater than 9 and n should be less than 50 we have to find all odd prime pairs whose sum is equal to the number n So here are some examples given. When n is fourteen, now fourteen has two odd prime pairs. Three plus eleven also makes fourteen. Seven plus seven also makes fourteen. So these two pairs should be displayed in the output. If the number is thirty, thirty has got three odd prime pairs that sum up to thirty. So seven and twenty-three, eleven and nineteen, thirteen and seventeen. These are the odd prime pairs. If the number entered is an odd number, like seventeen here, we will display invalid input. Number is odd because only even numbers greater than four are Goldback numbers. And the next example, when n is entered as one twenty-six. Now this is out of range according to the question, so we display invalid input number out of range. So that's the concept of Goldback numbers. Once the concept is clear, we can now begin writing our program. So here I have created a file Goldback dot Java. Let's start with the import statement. Then we create a class. the main function and we create a scanner object inside we ask for the value of n and we receive it in a variable n now we need to check for its validity whether the value of n is valid or not so if n is less than 10 or n is greater than 49 then in that case we need to print an error message according to the question uh, so we need to print invalid input number out of range and we call the return keyword to exit from main similarly if n is not an even number if it's an odd number so n mod 2 is not equal to 0 in that case we print another error message invalid input and number is odd and we call the return keyword here also otherwise if the value of n is valid then we take 
two pairs. One is P and we start P with 3 because we need to consider only odd prime numbers. That's why we don't want to start from 2. So P is 3. So automatically in that case Q should be N minus P. Now while P is less than or equal to Q, if P is also prime and Q is also prime, then we can print the pair. So P and Q. So because we have only one statement in the if condition, we can omit these curly braces and after printing the pair, we increment P and then Q also updates itself as N minus P. So here we have to create a user defined method is prime that will return a boolean value that will check whether the given number is prime or not. So if both the values are prime numbers, only then we are going to print the pairs. Okay, so let's now create this function is prime. It is going to return a boolean value. We are receiving the number in num and we are counting the factors. So we need to run a loop here. If num is divisible by i, that means we have found a factor. So in that case f plus plus and then outside the loop, we just return f equal equal to because we are using the relational operator here. So automatically it's going to return a boolean value. So our program is complete. Let's check the output. So as you can see, when we are giving the value of n as 14, two pairs are getting printed, 3 and 11 and 7 and 7. Similarly, if we give 30, three pairs are getting printed. 7 plus 23 makes 30, 11 plus 19 makes 30, 13 plus 17 also makes 30. And all are primes, odd primes. If we give 17, now because 17 is an odd number, it displays an error message accordingly. And if I give 126, then it is out of range. So with this, I hope you have understood how to solve the gold back number question. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.